vamos, pasen nomás. A ustedes. ¿A qué piso van? Pues al tres. Vamos. También vamos, ok. Thank you for coming out, and I am just really excited to introduce the next speaker, uh, which is the person I think a lot of you came out to hear from, which is our new San Francisco District Attorney, Chesa Boudin. When I was an infant, my parents left me at the babysitter, and they never came back to get me. That day, while I was playing with a friend at the babysitter, was a year old, my parents drove a getaway car in a tragic armed robbery that left three men dead. My mother ended up serving 22 years in prison. My father's still incarcerated today and will likely never get out. Chesa Boudin may be the least likely of prosecutors. He's the son of two activists from the radical left militant group Weather Underground. In the 1970s, the FBI classified it as a terrorist organization. It meant for me that my earliest memories are going through steel gates, getting searched by prison guards, just to be able to give my parents a hug. And it also meant that I saw firsthand the horrific failures of this country's addiction to punishment and incarceration. Yeah. Now Boudin's running one of the largest district attorney's offices in the U.S. Who are all of these people? That's me surfing. Those are my two nieces adjusting my bow tie for me. <laughs> With a side gig as the perfect boogeyman for conservative talking heads. On Wednesday, Chesa Boudin became the city's new district attorney. Boudin is a Yale-educated public defender who has never prosecuted a case. As a candidate, he promised to undermine our legal system by not enforcing various laws, including laws against prostitution. Now I'm ready. All right. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. Boudin didn't waste any time stirring things up. That I take this obligation freely. Without any His third full day on the job, he fired the heads of the gang and homicide units and at least five other prosecutors. He got rid of cash bail and launched a diversion program to give defendants with kids a chance to get their cases dismissed. Talk a little bit about your past and how it got you full circle right here. I have something in common with the majority of Americans, and that is that I grew up with family members incarcerated. So I've been thinking about the ways in which the state responded to what my parents did, the ways in which that response failed to meet the real needs of the people who were harmed, and in turn, harmed me and others. We can do better. And I ran for district attorney because I want to build a model that does better. Morning, everyone. Happy Monday. How you doing? His vision is simple. Lock up fewer people. It's the same progressive platform that swept a wave of other rookie DAs into office across the country, including Marilyn Mosby in Baltimore in 2015 and Larry Krasner in Philadelphia three years later. Let's also follow up um, about going to visit all the different police stations. Great. Follow up with you. Thank you. Do you see this as a movement? Do you want to see this uh, continuing? This is a unique moment in American history. It's the first time in any of our lifetimes when there is a broad national consensus that the status quo approach to criminal justice is not working. It's not working for victims, it's not rehabilitating people who commit crimes, and it's not keeping us safe. Not everyone's on board with this agenda, though. During the DA race, nearly everyone in the city's Democratic establishment endorsed Boudin's opponent. Join the SF Chronicle and the Democratic Party in voting Susie this November. But Boudin's loudest critics are city police. Together with other law enforcement groups, their union spent more than $650,000 to fight his campaign. Jessa Boudin said he wouldn't seek maximum sentences as district attorney, even for murder. When he won, the union launched BoudinBlunders.com and invited the public to contribute their stories. Do you believe Boudin is really trying to work more for the defendant versus the taxpayers? I would say yes. And like I said, anytime you hire or you elect a public defender to become the district attorney or the prosecutor, you're gonna get a public defender in the prosecutor's office. He's advocating for the people that are perpetuating 
violence upon the victims. And that's clearly sending the wrong message. And not only should the police be concerned, everyone that comes to San Francisco should be concerned with their safety. So how do you respond to community members who say the quality of life in the city is going down? The reality is that many of the problems we talk about when we talk about quality of life, problems of addiction, problems of mental health, problems of homelessness, are not problems the criminal justice system can solve. Putting people in and out of jail will not give them housing. It will not restore their mental health. It will not break their drug addiction. And so, to the extent I have a voice in this system, I'm gonna be demanding that we get at the root causes of crime.